Hi everybody, I'm Matteo Ferrario, composer. And this is a series of videos in which I'm going to try laying some theoretical and practical foundations addressed to anyone who wishes to venture in musical production, even in a, a domestic environment. Uh, so what is sound? It is something that the music we listen from our radios, the roar of a thunder and everything we hear with our own ears share. Uh, it is nothing but the vibration of a medium such as air which propagates through space and after reaching our eardrums gives us information. Uh, if we picture for example uh, clapping our hands what happens is that the, the air surrounding the clap moves and expands and then goes back to the starting point passing on by doing so motion to the air close by which expands as well and so on the sound wave uh, therefore appears as a longitudinal or rather the propagation direction is no different from the oscillation direction but um, how can we represent sound? Well, given that graphically representing sound waves uh, could, could turn out to be extremely complex, what we do is reproducing it transversely, exactly like a C wave, where the travel direction stays the same and the oscillation direction is 90 degrees rotated so that it can be easily uh, read. Um, sounds exist both as simple and complex. Uh, complex sounds themselves are made of simple sounds uh, while the simple sound overall is the sinusoid. For example, a complex sound could be the one generated from a chainsaw whose shape could be similar to this um, or maybe the one generated by a hitting a snare while a simple sound could be the one um, coming from um, a flute or the piano. The auditory system is responsible for the sound interpretation um, which then transforms oscillations somehow breaking them up in more basic ones into information that can be uh, recognized by our, our brain. Sound, therefore, is nothing but a mechanical vibration of a physical medium interpreted by our ears and transformed into information. 